Good morning, good evening, and good day to you. What's up, guys? <laughs> My name is Vanessa. Eli. And uh, welcome to Sunday dinners. It's been a bit since we've been able to sit down and do one, but we had a couple of minutes before our brunch dinner thing. So yeah, um, we've been kind of silent for a while and not uh, posting anything really, but uh, it just became a little bit too much with uh, everything we had going on, like, you know, planning a wedding and... Um, Which was amazing. Yeah, it was so crazy, but it was amazing. It was crazy, but yeah, we wouldn't have had it any other way. Mm -hmm. really. uh, we spent the weekend in Austin starting from a Thursday. Mm -hmm and uh we dealt with some rain and some really bad rain and some more rain um but, <laughs> but luckily the, the skies opened up for the ceremony which was great yeah and then but also we were a little bit late because not like half of the wedding party which included us in that half yeah we, we couldn't find <laughs> We, we were, we were too focused on like meeting up our friends that we haven't seen in a while and partying to uh fully discuss logistics with the reverend and where exactly she was gonna be she but was amazing she was great she was fantastic we were fashionably late but she was cool with it and she rolled with it and uh, we had a great time yeah i'm gonna put some like videos and photos like right here so you guys can kind of probably like while we're talking yeah right here yeah <laughs> Rev, you're amazing. Uh, but, and uh, yeah, and we want to say thank you to all our friends that came out from California and our family. And the friends out. that like really wanted to be there but like couldn't. We obviously understand. We are still in a pandemic, and we are still recovering. You know, so just because you couldn't make it doesn't mean that you love us any less. And we we know that. So yeah, we understand. It's okay. And we also had a limited. Like window capacity. of people that we could yeah capacity I couldn't think of the word. Let's talk about actually like what happened with the yacht because we did like we said we got married over the weekend. Originally the plan was going to be a brunch and then a yacht, and that was it. And then it started to kind of change as more people wanted to come, so we kind of adjusted our plans a little bit. And then finally, after everything was said and done, we rented a shuttle to get all of our people from A to B to C to D. And the night before, there was a ridiculous rainstorm. And then uh, luckily the shuttle was nice enough to give us a refund. And we didn't get a refund for the yacht, but it was definitely worth it if you wanna talk about it. Yeah, shout out to Brian Hill from Premier Party Cruises they just treated us with the the best uh alternative to even uh what you know i think we had more fun there than we would have had on the yacht you know in general uh just the idea to to you know rent out a bar for everyone and uh have the band and the dj and everything was a phenomenal idea and uh way to way to think on your feet man yeah uh, shout yeah. out big shout out to him i'll, I'll put the link we'll put the link in the bio for them yeah or whatever party like and i'm so so determined determined by the amount of fun that we had i'm sure their their, their parties disco and, cruises are off the hook yeah Kay. and also definitely get the dj because their djs were amazing and if they have the the band option then definitely do that too. yeah and they offer midnight cruises as well which sounds like it would be a lot of fun so yeah, yeah big shout out to them so originally they were going to it was basically a rain or shine type of thing unless there are storms and then there are storms and we would have to reschedule but since there are so many uh people that he knew were flying in from california uh he decided he could reschedule us and then gave us the option uh he gave us the option of uh taking him on this other this other venture which was saying hey there's a bunch of other people that are also supposed to be on this boat for the weekend we have to cancel everybody because the weather just is not good enough and so instead he rented out the cat's pajamas and that's where that happened but yeah, yeah. it was a great time it was great and um, then we stayed at the line which was the line phenomenal. hotel yeah that was a great place i love i love the style in there it's super uh, retro and 
I really dig it. Um, and it was very like holistic and and uh, yeah, that, that that hotel room was more woke than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we ate at well, we had drinks at P Six, which they have a lot of cute. Um, they have a, a lot of cute like brunch drinks and like I I originally wanted to have our brunch there, but just didn't work out. So. We made we found a happy medium Vera Cruz, which apparently is like one of the best taco sp stands in Austin, which was also in the line, um, and their food was great. And then we also went to Arlo Gray mm -hmm. on the night of our wedding. Whenever we decided to kind of leave the party and like just have our own little intimate dinner, yeah, that which was, was really nice. nice. It was that super was nice. nice. It was super nice. And had a nice little Irish goodbye. And no, and then it's awesome because like my buddies that were here in town ended up like uh, partying with uh, your mom and your aunt Cindy for the rest of the night too, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad everybody, <laughs> everybody, had, everybody had a great time. It, it was beautiful. And Thank had, you, Austin, Texas. And yeah. The, and uh, the Marriott Zanzibar, which was amazing. Yes, that place was great. Was it the Marriott? Yeah, it was the Marriott, right? Yeah, Zanzibar, it's up on the 10th floor, uh, poolside uh, digs, really good food, great food, honestly, that that, that, that was really delicious. Um, got everyone, you know, nice and drunk, and uh, it was really, amazing, yeah, it was, it was great. amazing. And then, if you've noticed, we have a change of scenery, because we bought a Raptor. Yeah, and you're so in it. 2017 Raptor. Super fun. Nice. We've always want. We've both always wanted one. So, you know, got rid of the truck. You know, many many good times, many camping trips. But we'll um, we'll show all our camping trips this year. Yeah. So yeah, time to camp in this bad boy. We're gonna go to South Padre in a couple months. Yeah, we're gonna Jerica. South Padre in a little bit. Um, Great footage. And then remember, we also have the the tent that goes in the in the mm -hmm. bed of the truck too. <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know. They're circling. We're we're having Mother's Day dinner with Mickey and my dad, so it's fun. They keep circling around, but yeah, they're doing something. I don't know what. We'll <laughs> we'll, we'll give them a call shortly after this video, but um, um should we wrap else? it up? Yeah. Or rapture it up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> hey, you like, again. Make a little dinosaur run across here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so we'll um i'll put a couple of clips from the last like month and a half that we did because we also built a bench a workbench we've done some tie-dye i'm about to start doing some reverse tie-dye we got uh, uh we got a blackstone griddle hell yeah so there's also crazy hail that were like that big oh yeah her crazy. car her car got a couple little dings the the rental we had from austin got got pretty messed up but uh yeah. but yeah Anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, excited to periodically check in with you guys. And happy Mother's Day, y'all. Happy Mother's Day. What are you about to do? I have a fucking tank. <laughs> I don't think we could actually hear you. <laughs>
<laughs> to anybody else, he himself. <laughs> he, uh, you know, so when I met uh, Vanessa, we actually the three of us went out for drinks, and uh, I was just so so impressed was, by the fact that May, she, that was April first. She laughed at this man's jokes, <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed his humor, and it was just like I told I took him off to the side, and I was just like, hey, he like this girl. She's, she's something special, and I think you need to hold on to her. And here we are today, and you know, they were both uh, with me during some really dark times, and uh, they had a second home for me and my little puppy. It, you know, I miss them dearly, but I'm so happy that, that they're building this life together, and they've made this move out to Texas. I really appreciate you guys, and I love you, and I'm always going to be here for the both of you guys. <laughs>